Hello guys, this is Saad and welcome to my channel. In this video I'll be telling you how to fix Wi-Fi not working and connecting in the Windows 11. So this is a step-by-step -step tutorial on how to fix your Wi-Fi problem. So let's proceed to the tutorial. First of all you'll have to check if this is a Windows problem or a network card problem. To do so just go to the CMD. You'll have to go to your search and type in CMD in the search bar and click on the first option which says command prompt. Over here you'll have to type in PING and then a space 127.1.1.1 and then click on enter on your keyboard. So if you receive a, a message which says reply, reply and reply or a similar message like this which means this is a Windows problem and not a network card problem and your network card is working properly. So now let's get back to the fix. So for the first fix you'll have to go to the search bar and then you'll have to type in control panel over here. Now you'll have to open control panel and over here you'll have to click on internet options over here. If you can't find internet options what you can do is that you can just search it over here internet options in the search bar on the top right. Now you'll have to click on internet options and then you'll have to click on advanced over here. So you'll see this option over here which says restore advanced settings. You'll have to just click on it. And after clicking on it you'll have to just click on reset below it. So uh, for me I don't have the reset option below it so it's okay you can just click on apply and then click on ok. So it's not 100% that this would fix your problem but I'm going to show you more fixes that should fix your problem. So let's go to the second fix now. So for the second fix you'll have to again go to the search bar start and over here you'll have to type in run. Now you'll have to click on the first option. Now in run you'll have to type in services.msc and then you'll have to click on ok. Now over here you'll have to find the service which is called uh, Wireline Auto Config. So when you scroll down you'll have to go to the W option and you'll see this option over here which says Wireline Auto Config. So if this is not running for you you'll have to make sure it is running so you can just right click on it and then you can go to the properties or you can just click start from here over here and so for me it is already running so if it's running for you you can leave it running and not running for you you can make sure you'll have to make sure this running for you so you'll have to just click on the start option over here and for the third fix now so you'll have to again go to the search bar and you'll have to type in control panel over here again and just hit on enter on your keyboard over here you'll have to type in network connections and then You'll have to click on this option over here which says view network connections on the first option and you'll have to type in network connection in the search bar and over here as you can see my Wi-Fi is disabled now to enable it you'll have to right click on it and then click on enable so as you can see my Wi-Fi is working now and it should be enabled okay so for the next fix what you'll have to do is that you'll have to just go to the window search bar and over here you'll have to type in device manager and now over here you'll have to click on the small arrow beside network adapters and over here you'll have you'll see this option which says wireless intel but for you it could also be some other brand but uh, you'll have to make sure it says wireless and wireless or it could also say network adapter so basically you'll have to click on your network adapter or your wireless uh, network connection. You'll have to right click on it and then you'll have to click on update driver. And over here you'll have to click on search automatically for drivers and if it's already installed the best drivers are installed for you. You can close this. What you can do is that you can just go to the properties. You can over here just uninstall the driver. You'll have to click on drivers over here on the top. Then you'll have to click on uninstall device now you'll have to click on uninstall and wait for it so over here now you'll have to click on this blue icon over here which says scan for hardware changes and now you'll have to just close this and now restart the computer so if that didn't work for you too what you can do is that now you can go to your settings 
so you can just search settings over here or for me I have it over here but I'll just search it over here and now you'll have to click on the third option over here which says network and internet and now you'll have to click on the advanced network settings so over here you can see this option which says network reset you can click on it and now this will just reset all the network settings and bring it to factory mode you'll have to click on the reset now button and then click on yes this will just bring the original settings for the network so now you'll have to restart your PC and they should fix your problem so for the next thing what you'll have to do is that you'll have to again go to the search option over here and now you'll have to type in CMD and now you'll have to run it as administrator you'll see this option over here which says run as administrator just click on it and there'll be a prompt which will ask you if you want to allow this uh, this app to make changes you'll have to click on yes and now uh, you'll have to type in N E T S H W I N uh, you'll have to give a space after N E T S H and then W I N S O C K and now you'll have to give again another space over here and then you'll have to click on R E S E T you'll have to type in reset and then you'll have to hit enter on your keyboard so you'll have to reset after this command but I'll give you another command which should fix your problem so the next one is a slightly a longer one so you'll have to type in N E T S H and a space and now you'll have to type in I N T space I P space R E S E T reset space and then reset again uh, no space L O G dot T X T so you'll have to just type this in and then you'll have to click on enter on your keyboard so as you can see your network settings has been reset and now you'll have to just click on uh, you'll have to just click on restart and you'll have to restart your PC or your laptop and your problems should be solved so these fixes should fix your problem but if they still didn't fix your problem I'm gonna show you a last fix so the last fix is just go to the search bar and type in run over there and you'll have to click on the first option over here and now you'll have to type in msconfig msconfig and then click on enter so as you can see this system configuration has opened so now you'll have to click on services over here and then now you'll have to click on enable all and then you'll have to click on ok over here so now you'll have to click on restart and now your PC or laptop would restart your Windows 11 will restart and for I'm not restarting now because I'm creating a video but I hope this video will have helped you enforce more similar videos like this you can subscribe to my channel we'll meet in the next video till then peace out